the instructional video of the F11 4K bow on how to match the frequency. Put the aircraft on the horizontal surface. Firstly, turn on the power of the aircraft. Now all red indicators on the aircraft arms start slowly flashing and turn the frequency matching status. Turn on the power of the remote control. Now the front white lights and the rear blue lights on the aircraft arms begin blinking. Means the frequency matches successfully. Turn on the Wi-Fi function from the setting of the mobile device. Connect it to the Wi-Fi and enter the app. Compass calibration. Push the left joystick of the remote control to the P1 o'clock position and push the right joystick to the 11 o'clock position. Now the front white and red lights and the rear blue and red lights on the aircraft arms start flashing quickly and the app status displays. Enter compass calibration. Keep the aircraft level. Pick up the aircraft from the back and rotate your body in one circle, 360 degrees. Now the rear blue and red lights turn to solid blue. From the bottom, hold the aircraft vertically and camera is facing to the sky. Rotating your body in one circle, 360 degrees. Now the front white and red lights turn to solid white. Put the aircraft back to the horizontal surface. Starting or stopping the motors. Push the left joystick on the remote control to the 5 o'clock position and push the right joystick to the 7 o'clock position. Now the motors automatically to start. Repeat the steps as above and the motor automatically to stop. If you want to fly the aircraft when the GPS signal is weak, you can press and keep holding the return home button on the remote control for 5 seconds to turn off the GPS function and enter the normal mode flight. It is defaulted as beginner mode at the first flight. Refer to the menu instruction for detailed operations. Basic operation instructions. Simultaneously pushing the left and right joystick on the remote control to start or stop the motors. Push the left joystick upwards, aircraft takeoff, or click the takeoff icon on the app screen of the mobile phone to take off high speed, medium speed, low speed switch to operate the aircraft freely. Press the photo button on the remote control gently or click the photo button on the app interface. Now the photo indicator on the screen of the remote control will flash once. That means it takes one photo. Click the recording button on the remote control or click the recording button on the app. Now the recording indicator on the remote control will keep flashing. That means it starts recording. Original photos and videos will be saved on the SD card. Gently pressing the SD card and you can take it out from the card slot. When the SD card is inserted into the aircraft, card capacity and card remaining capacity will be displayed on the app interface of the mobile phone. Clicking the SD card icon, it will prompt to format the SD card. The above is the instructional video for the first flight of F11 4K Pro. Thank you for your watching.